States of the Nation, Wade Steinlogie again with uh, Dylan Ray as a graduate assistant coach for cross country and will be track and field as well in the spring. Um, Dylan, just wanted to sit down with you and um, learn a little bit more about you and you can talk about, um, first off, your background and then we can talk about where the team's kind of standing. All right. Well, background, I went to, uh, I grew up in Sterling, Illinois. It's about okay. three hours from Oskaloosa. Okay. Went to uh, uh, Newman Central Catholic High School, and then I went to University of St. Francis, uh, conference rival, former conference rival right. of William Penn. Ran four years for there, cross country and track, and then worked my way this way when I got the call. Sure, sure. Um, kind of tell us, uh, you know, where are you, where are the team's at right now? I mean, we're uh, two days away from the, the Simpson invite, so where do you feel like... Uh, our strengths are, what do we need to still be working on? Is the team ready for the first meet, basically? I think the team's going to do well. The first meet, we're a very young team, so right. we have a lot of, I mean, we have a few experienced upperclassmen, but I think the youth of this team is really going to, what's going to be helping carry the team right. for the next, for, especially for the first meet. Right. Um, anybody in particular that has really impressed you on, on either side, men and women, for that matter? Uh, I would say Zach, I can't remember his last name at the moment, <laughs> but... Oh. Johnson, Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson. Right. He's uh he's been really working his tail off. He's uh he's been pushing himself with the first group, especially mm -hmm. like the older classmen like Jonas, O. C. Romo, sure. which has been a big. He's been a big shock to us thus far, right. and we're excited to see how he does. Great, uh, women's side, um, a little bit smaller team there, obviously, but um, you know, wh where do you uh, see them right now? Uh, I think they're doing. They're gonna do well. The hard part's just gonna be keeping all of them healthy with sure. only six girls, uh, especially. With only two or three that could be really like will be up front up for sure. us, it's going to be a matter of just the team working together and learning mm -hmm. to pack up, especially at those five Ks when we start running those in a few weeks. Right. Um, what would you? Uh, what do you see as far as the season goes? As far as is this a team that can be pushed mentally and physically as we go along, or you know, how's your training style? How would you like to see the, the team getting pushed and getting ready for the conference season? Uh, first about. off, I just, we just, I think me and Coach Goswich are on the same page. We want to push their strength to being able to right. handle the longer distance races because a lot of these kids have never ran cross country in the college level before, sure. so this is a new, uh, new phase for them. Mm -hmm. But once we get to the conference meet, I think if we find the right grouping of people to mm -hmm. run together, especially on the guys' side, right. they have a good chance of maybe I mean, taking a shot at conference and right. maybe punching a ticket to nationals, which sure. would be, which is the goal since we've been here. Sure. Definitely. Um, and again, Simpson, it's actually tomorrow, I said, I think Saturday, <laughs> but it's actually tomorrow uh, evening over in Indianola. Um, hopefully the weather holds up and everything. You're not running on a soppy course, but best of luck, Coach, and thanks for sitting down with us. Thank you. Appreciate it.